In this video, I made an entire Discord bot using Godot game engine within a single day. So it all started using this Python Godot extension and it just doesn't really work. I installed the Discord library and it's just stuck at loading screen for a minute or two and then it just doesn't do anything after that. And yeah, so I moved on from this and switched to this Node.js Godot API. This one works really well, but this one doesn't work because it still requires a Node.js server, which is means that it's not really a Godot application, it's a Node.js application. So I moved on from this and started to think of another solution. And so after discussing for quite a while with my friend Skybird on Discord, I finally found a solution of using just HTTP request and WebSockets, which are both available officially for Godot out of the box and I can just use them straight away. This all went back when my friend Skyward showed me that he made an entire Discord client within the Construct2 engine. And finally, after all Skyward's amazing advice, I did it. The bot is finally online and it works. It just works and it replies to my message. And to think that everything that is running here on the screen is written in GDescript 100% without any extension, it was really cool. And also it can use everything that a Discord bot can do, it can send message and do anything and I just need this 8 lines. And here is the backend, it's just a little few lines of code. And then there is a .env. And the file contains the token for my Discord bot, which is required to connect to the Discord API. Now, was it all worth it? Definitely not. And, but it was fun, so I did it. And for YouTube videos, yay! Special thanks for Skybird for helping me out during everything here. I ask a lot of questions to him. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I might do a sequel to this, let's see if I can make it bot a little bit more useful, or maybe I can make an entire Discord client, who knows? Don't forget to like and subscribe.